Shit. Go. Hello, people. Another beautiful day. Yep. Hope your five sets is work. Health and strength is good. What? What's up, Steam Deck fans? We had it again. Steam Deck Tribe, Steam Deck Nation, Steam Deck Universe, Steam Deck World, Steam Deck Legion was good. Steam Deck Mod, what's happening? And the Steam Deck Squad. <laughs> We talking F we talking FSR 3.0 at uh, Game Developers Conference. Got this article article from Tweaktown here. What's up, Tweaktown? Listen to this. We could finally learn. We could find. We can. We could finally learn more about AMD FSR 3.0 at GDC. It says AMD give us a peek at FSR 3.0 during the imminent Game Developers Conference, and we might find out how Team Red plans to tackle Nvidia. DLSS 3.0 <laughs> says here uh, AMD is running running a session at GDC 2023 Game Developers Conference, which pertains to its Fidelity FS SDK, and there's a chance we might see an initial info drop on FSR 3.0. Says here FSR 3.0 is the third. Take on Fidelity FX Super Revolution, Resolution <laughs> AMD Frame Rate Booster that rivals NVIDIA DLSS. The session takes place on March 23rd, and AMD notes that it will include an excite, exciting sneak peek. Peak. <laughs> exciting, uh, see if I can catch this. Whoops, almost missed it. Gotta get this. Exciting sneak peek of, of new Fidelity FX technologies that will be available soon seeing as FSR 3.0 is expected to debut at some point this year and hopefully sooner rather than later we might get a glimpse of it at the conference after all if anything else is exciting regarding AMD FX tech it's the next incarnation of FSR in the past we've heard some very thin and wispy rumors that AI could be incorporated with FSR 3.0. However, AMD argues quite forcefully that AI is needed for upscale technology. And, and then it says in parentheses, NVIDIA, NVIDIA DLSS does, of course, use machine learning on top of temporal upscaling. Hmm. So that might come, we'll see, if, we'll see if it comes back to buy AMD. But anyway, it says here, so given the firm's past stance, it seems a less than likely prospect that AMD could employ AI in the mix here, although clearly clearly there have to be advancements made with the third version of FSR. What gamers are more worried about is how AMD might angle FSR 3.0 in terms of support. In other words, much like and much like NVIDIA DLSS 3.0 to only support its new RTX 4000 graphics card, acting as other acting as another selling point for Lo Lovelace. Effectively, the fear is that FSR 3.0 may be limited to newer GPUs. Then it says in parentheses, maybe even current gen models. Then it says again, that would be an about turn for AMD though seen as one of the central pillars of FSR is it's far more open and wide range than DLSS. Working with NVIDIA and Intel GPUs and older graphics card too, at any rate, with any luck, we'll soon know a bit more about the AMD. We'll, see, we'll soon know a bit more about where AMD is headed with its next gen upscaling tech. Well, <clears throat> look. FSR, DLSS, Fidelity Super Res Resolution, <laughs> Deep Learning Super Sampling. Look, um, AMD, NVIDIA, Intel, um, they're always going to stay competitive. Um, we know uh, NVIDIA use DLSS 3 only works on their uh, their 4000 graphics card you know so AMD might might may or may not do the same with their with their graphics card you know and um, they, they're, they're always gonna um, try to stay competitive and if when whenever Fidelity uh, 
resolute um, when the, whenever FS, FSR 3.0 comes out, uh, Linux uh, the Steam Steam Deck users are going to benefit from this because uh, you know Valve didn't team team up with AMD for nothing. <laughs> you know, I'm pr I'm pretty sure they 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 ironed out the the details and iron, ironed out all the detail. You know on how they're going to go about supporting the Steam Deck with FSR. So. I personally believe that 3.0 will the, F, uh, the Steam Deck will benefit from it and Linux gaming, um, and then going on from there. But uh, this is just AMD uh, uh, staying um, staying competitive in the market, you know, and trying to keep up with the times and the um, the demands of uh, you know of gaming and technology as a whole. So um, they might they might use Jedi they might use Jedi Survivor again. You know, to show what uh, um, to show what FSR can do, or they might use another, um, probably use another game. But um, as far as FSR, uh, but as far as a, um, as far as uh, AMD goes, they they will uh, they will they, they they're just staying competitive, and that's all they're doing. You know, and um, they're trying to trying to stay on top of things. So um, will they will they support support older graphics card? We shall see when that time comes out. But right now, FSR is the is, is the next big thing, and we'll see we'll see what they say when it comes out G, uh, Game Developers Conference. You know, so yeah, um, uh, you know, uh, the, the Steam Deck fans they 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 will ben I think they will benefit from it. <laughs> they will benefit for sure. You know, um, and, and Linux gamers. Yep. Windows gamers, same thing. They'll benefit. But um, <clears throat> but um, I want to. How how close will it compare to uh to DLSS to DLSS uh, uh three? We're gonna find out. Now, um, they say they don't support AI, but they might change their mind. <laughs> so we'll see when the um when when game developers comes around. What AMD has in store for everybody, and let's not forget, if if AMD if Nvidia got DLSS three and then Nvidia got uh, FSR three point zero, that means Intel is gonna try to do something too. So this video card <laughs> this video card market uh very competitive. So you know, in, Intel 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 will respond to uh, to, uh, to AMD and uh, other than that, man, um, AMD is just trying to stay on top of things, you know, trying to keep, tr trying to move the needle, so to speak, <laughs> in the tech world, you know, um, not not falling asleep behind the wheel and just trying to stay on top of things, you know, keep up with NVIDIA, keep up with NVIDIA or surpass them, <laughs> that's what, that's only two options NVIDIA, I mean, uh, AMD really got, is to keep up with NVIDIA or surpass NVIDIA. That's the only two. They can't go back to the old stuff now. <laughs> Gotta keep moving, man. So, yeah. Other than that, man, um, the video game industry is, is alive and well. <laughs> you know, um, developers are busy, you know. A lot, a lot of, uh, a lot of games are in the work, and they're gonna benefit when FSR 3.0 comes out, so, yeah. Uh, what, uh, and plus the games that we're playing now. Let's see here, uh, Elden Rings, <laughs> Cyberpunk. Oh, yeah. they, those games will, will, will <laughs> those games will take full advantage of FSR 3.0 <laughs> when it comes out. So yeah, but M AMD, oh yeah, they're just trying to stay competitive, man. Yeah. They have to keep moving, you know. They have to. If they don't, if they don't support older graphics card, okay, okay, fine. We keep we keep moving and you know, we don't sit there complaining about it we just keep moving <laughs> you know? I mean when Nvidia when Nvidia uh, used DLSS uh, 3 to support only the 4000 graphics card um, most most uh, most techs most computer tech tech savvy people didn't even complain they're like you know what okay fine they don't support the older graphics card, okay. 
guess we just get we just get the the latest, you know. <laughs> get the get the graphics card that uh, DLSS three support, and they can't move it. You know, so, so whenever whenever these uh, video card manufacturers uh, uh, make uh, make make a change in their um, in their graphics card, you always got as a as a tech person, you always got to be prepared for the change, you know, and got to make sure your your PC is up to snuff. To like um, up to up to par to like run the their latest tech. So you always gotta be you always gotta be prepared for any any kind of change that they're they're ready to make. You know, um, you might you might have had a you might have had a graphics card for about what three to four years, and then all of a sudden they come out with something new and then they say and then they tell you like okay, uh, we're not supporting this card anymore. So you got you got two options. It's either you change with them and sit or sit there and complain. <laughs> so, you know, when they make moves, man, you just gotta be ready for it, you know. You always gotta keep that in mind, you know. You know, you, you know, um, especially if, if you're doing high end high end gamings, you never wanna um find yourself settling. You know? Whenever they make when, whenever they make announcement, you you you, 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 you um you just make an adjustment right away, you know. You have to just to keep up with the times. Anyway, leave this video for y'all to enjoy. Nice talking to you people again. Chris, still Star Wars and Star Trek like Bored, Dark Side. Well, peace.